for a while. I'm gonna get back in the videos as the market's been turning on here. Um, I've been trading with one of my buddies, Max, and he's been showing me how to do the volume profile on Thinkorswim. This is a great indicator if you start trading daily or weekly options. So if you take a look on here, you can see this is the volume of orders, the volume of trades that are occurring at a specific price point, which is extremely powerful. So this basically tells you, as Max would describe it, basically tells you when the volume is high here, these, this giant, this is the uh, peak here. It says this is a, an agreed upon price, right? The buyer and the seller have agreed upon this price and this small window here is kind of the their difference in opinion. So what will happen is the stock will typically trade near this price. A lot of volume will change hands here and they'll spend a lot of time here. You can see this is a one day of SPY from today. There was a lot of time that was spent kind of in this window here, here, here. This green line is the current price here. And then you can see down here, they started to fill in the volume at this price range as well. So down here at that 389. And what tends to happen, as you can see also in the after hours, the price is drawn from these, these bumps in the volume profile. It's drawn from bump to bump, right? It skips over the gaps. So if we zoom out here to a three day, you can see the same. Here's a volume being filled in for what occurred here and here. A little bit of volume, you can see this is back here. And on this day, it skipped over this and it was drawn from this volume here the whole way down to filling in this volume here. It skipped over this gap, right? Because this gap basically, in the recent days, this gap hadn't been agreed upon. So no one was sure what the price should be there. And it ended up agreeing upon the lower. And then you can see here, this is a better look at it. You can see this gap, this, this um, price here, a couple days were spent there. Previously, a couple days were spent here, a day was spent here in this price that we have now returned to. So you can see those became, as Max would say, magnets to pull the price to, and that's what happened here. This price went from something that was not super agreed upon through this and down into something that was agreed upon previously. So these, these low points are usually, you'll see the price fall through that. So you can trade this, right? You can see that if you're trading and you see this kind of get broken like it happened here like you see this not stop here and fall through when you see this price start to fall through here and it's not going to hold like you would have right in here when it fell through this support right here you would have seen this start to fall when it didn't catch and you could have bought puts here and you would have known that okay this is probably going to drop into this range down here right so it's a very powerful tool the way you turn this on is you just go to studies add study profiles, volume profile. That's going to put it on for you. Thanks, guys. Hope this helps. Enjoy the day.